bariatric surgery or metabolic surgery as we now call it should be recommended for patients who have a BMI of 40 or above regardless of their diabetes control or patients who have a BMI of 35 to 40 if they're having trouble controlling their diabetes. These recommendations were embraced by multiple societies including the American Diabetes Association after uh, a very important summit which included a multidisciplinary team uh, of professionals including surgeons and non-surgeons who looked at evidence from multiple observational and randomized control trials involving patients who had diabetes who are either randomized to intensive lifestyle intervention with medical therapy or uh, various bariatric surgery procedures. And what they found was uh, observational data that had long supported the benefits of metabolic surgery um, were confirmed by results of randomized control trial. Glycemic improvement after metabolic surgery is measured by remission rates and reduction in the number of medications needed to control diabetes. And both these outcomes are superior after metabolic surgery, whether it was Roux-en-Y gastric bypass or gas sleeve gastrectomy or lap band procedures or various metabolic surgeries uh, had superior outcomes in terms of their diabetes management compared to intensive lifestyle and medical therapy. And the benefits of metabolic surgery last up to five years post-op. There are ethnic disparities in the benefit of metabolic surgery, uh, whether it's complication rates or A1C benefits or uh, cardiovascular outcomes after uh, bariatric surgery. So it appears that um, the Caucasian population have a little bit better outcomes in terms of um, metabolic surgery uh, improvements in their A1C and blood pressure control and the need for diabetes medications after bariatric surgery and uh, the African American population uh, has a little bit less benefit in terms of A1C improvement. Um, we know that people who benefit the most from metabolic surgery in general, regardless of their ethnicity or genetic background, appear to be those individuals who have uh, a shorter duration of diabetes. Uh, they don't need insulin prior to going into having metabolic surgery. Age plays a big factor and um, socioeconomic demographics.